located about two hours south of the Weiss Earth Science Museum, Sheridan Park is nestled along the shores of Lake Michigan in the city of Cudahy, Wisconsin. areas of interest tell Wisconsin's history at Sheridan Park, the ancient rocks on the beach, and the Ice Age sedimentary strata in the bluff where these rocks are eroding from. The most ancient of these rocks are from the Precambrian Eon and date from anywhere between 3 billion to 600 million years old. Sourced from Canada, these rocks are just visitors to the park, having been transported by the glaciers to southeastern Wisconsin. Many of the Precambrian rocks are igneous rocks, meaning they came from volcanoes. Common igneous rocks at the park include red granite, Wisconsin's state rock, gabbro, a dark, large-grained rock, and basalt, which is satiny and jet black. The wavy lines in this rock indicate that it has been subjected to heat and pressure. It is therefore a metamorphic rock. The glaciers also scoured comparatively younger Paleozoic bedrock along the shores of modern Lake Michigan. Fossils of Silurian period reef organisms dating to over 420 million years ago can be found loose on the beach gravel or in the dolomitic limestone rocks and chert pebbles. Fossils from a different Paleozoic seafloor ecosystem dating to the late Devonian period can also be found at Sheridan Park. These fossils are about 380 million years old and were excavated by the glacier from bedrock found only in small areas in Ozaki and Milwaukee counties. Much more recent Ice Age geology is studied by looking at the sedimentary layers in the bluffs along the beach. Sedimentary layers, called strata, are studied from the oldest at the bottom to the youngest at the top. Each sedimentary strata has distinct geological features, like sediment color, texture, and patterns, or varying rock and fossil contents that help geologists study the changing Ice Age ecosystems through time. We'll assign stage numbers to the different Ice Age strata so we can study their contents as they change through geologic time. The sedimentary strata from stage 1 are buried below the beach sand. Around 35,000 years ago, and perhaps a little older, a sphagnum bog once existed where Sheridan Park is now located. Sedimentary material called peat, made of partially decomposed sphagnum moss and other plant and animal remains, can sometimes be found washed ashore on the beach after storms pull this material up from the lake bed offshore. Peeking out from the fallen bluff debris is the younger strata from stage 2. Some careful digging reveals many layers of fine sand with parallel or inclined lines called bedding planes, which are made by moving water. Stage 2 occurred between 35,000 and 30,000 years ago. The sedimentary strata indicate that the older bog had transitioned into a series of rivers or lakes before the glaciers reached this part of southeastern Wisconsin. Alternating layers of dipping and horizontal bedding planes tell us that water was flowing and often changing directions. These sediments were clearly deposited in a river. Stage 3 represents the most monumental ecosystem change in Wisconsin's recent geological history. Sitting on top of the river sands of Stage 2, and therefore younger, Stage 3 is a prominent bright pink band of sediment made mostly of clay and silt, with a cracked prismatic facade studded with numerous rocks of all shapes and sizes. This material is called glacial till. 
The name Glacial Till describes all the sediment and debris that was trapped beneath the glacier, which was likely over a mile thick and covered this region from 30,000 years ago until around 17,000 years ago. Nearly all of the Precambrian and Paleozoic rocks on the beach have weathered out of this glacial till. The sedimentary transition from stage 3 to stage 4 shows a stark transition from the pink glacial till to a familiar sequence of sandy bedding plains with a little more gravel resembling stage 2 deposited thousands of years earlier. About 17,000 years ago, the glaciers in this region began to melt, and water again began to flow. Bedding plains of sand also saw an influx of gravel and cobbles, as the glacial till left behind got sorted by the moving outflow of glacial meltwater. Stage 4's post-glacial river meltwater, sand and gravel deposits are topped by a layer of modern clay and soil. But one more strata of human-made significance is also worth noting at Sheridan Park. This strata is a marker for the recently named Anthropocene Epoch. The Anthropocene has been proposed as a global marker for the geological record starting in the year 1750, at the onset of the Industrial Revolution, a time when human-driven global footprints arose such that a permanent presence will likely be left in Earth's geological record. This includes our carbon footprint, steel production, changes in the world's biota, and the arrival and global distribution of materials like glass, ceramics, and most notably, plastics. Anthropocene materials such as concrete, bricks, beach glass, blue slag, and porcelain are all present on the beach at Sheridan Park, waiting to be explored alongside Wisconsin's Ice Age, Paleozoic, and Precambrian geologic heritage. <laughs>